I recall just, you know, waking up in the morning, having having the idea of going to a prep school in the back of my mind, but wasn't really set on it just because, you know, I was getting looks and I felt like I didn't have to go to a prep school at the time. I feel like my game was at a, a pretty good level. My name is Evan Guillory. I was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I currently play at New Hampton School um, on the East Coast of New Hampshire, and I'm committed to the University of Vermont. I have two big brothers, so I grew up watching them play, and it really inspired me um, just to get on the court and, and follow their steps. I started off playing in little leagues and, and stuff around um, local towns and, and Joplin once I moved out here. I started playing AU ball. After that, it just, it just took off and that's when I started playing on the circuits. Um, and now it's led me up to here to where I'm about to go to college. Prep school's taking my, my skills to a whole nother level. As I said, you know, I'm committed to the University of Vermont now, and that wouldn't be possible if I didn't go to a prep school. It made me add things to my game that if I stayed at a public school, I would have never thought to add. And it really just helped me with my body as well. Doing college workouts, college practices, on a, on a college schedule, getting my eating habits right, all that stuff. So it really took me to another level and helped me get to where I am now. Got killed, man. This is gonna be great, man. You know, like I said, man, it's all easy money. So the day I decided to make my decision to leave public school and go to a prep school, just remember it was it was a Wednesday. I actually had an ultimatum from my coach, you know, and he some things were going on, and he kind of just told me, you know, you're you're with us or you aren't. I had to make a decision that day, and I just recall, you know, going home and just telling my mom, like, you know, it, it, it's time. A lifetime opportunity, you gotta take it. So as soon as the opportunity presented itself, I told him to go ahead and do it. And he went down there, he worked hard, and you see where he's at now. It all, it all. Only my family had known, and I was like, man, I'm gonna tell my friends. Uh, and it was just so crazy, and I just remember, you know, going to school, going to school that, that Monday, and right before I left for my plane, and just telling everybody, and just seeing the, the looks on their faces. You know, I, I even had a few people that I was reaching out to to, you know, say goodbye to, thinking that uh, I wouldn't make it out there, and that, uh, you know, it, it wouldn't work for the best, or it wouldn't work in my favor. But, uh, you know, I just remember all the emotions and, and how I felt um, in, in leaving, you know, the place I call home. This the crib, man. Darian room used to be on the this little right side. Let's see if I can get a little, get a little image. Yeah, yeah. Came back. <laughs> Didn't feel that? Yeah. Bro, we, we got we got jugged, bro. We went to Alabama and there used to be some tweakers, bro, staying in the yard. They climbed through our front window, bro. I had just turned 10. I remember this so vividly. I got the Wii. That's when it just came out. Came back, bro. They took everything in the house. Tweak. And the only thing that was left out was some uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream that they was eating that they left on the floor. There was a lot of emotions. I was uh, extremely nervous. The culture was different from the way they talk to just things, things they're interested in, you know, the fashion, everything was just so different. And there was a lot of stuff that I wasn't used to seeing. Even the weather, it's completely different. I mean, you go from somewhere where it doesn't really snow and it's, it's kind of hot, but you know, rains a little bit into a, a place where it's just a snowstorm, just a blizzard in the winter and, and a long, hard winter. Waking up to mountains in a, in New Hampshire, as opposed to being in Joplin, to wake up to the smell of a dog food, and uh, you know, don't you don't really see anything outside your window.
How much your cup cost, Willow? Well, the decision for Evan to go to uh, New Hampton wasn't easy um, because I very, very um, protective mom I, with my kids. So that was just something that was it was it was hard, at the, you know, at the time. It was just at a time in his life that he needed, I think, to get away from situations, away from uh, personalities, and just kind of conflicts, and just uh, kind of work on who he is a little bit more. And sometimes you can only do that by getting out of a situation, out of, out of an environment. I just remember going to a prep school and thinking automatically I was going to go in there and I was going to kill and, and I was going to do well. And I actually, it was the opposite of that. I actually went there and I struggled for, for a while. Came down with injuries and stuff. And at a public school, I remember I could have a sprained ankle or my knee could be hurting and I could still go in there and, and do my thing. But at a prep school, it's none of that. You can't just walk into a gym and just think you're going to run it. You know, you really have to grind it out because you're on the court with with other Division One players, other NBA players, you know, and it's it's kids out there, like I said, competing for a scholarship. It really starts with, you know, seeing my, my family go so hard and, and work and my mother work so hard. Um, it really instilled um, a, a tremendous work ethic in me and it made me who I am today. Um, you know, I want to be able to get to the highest level and, and get paid to uh, play the game, you know, that way. So, you know, she's worked her whole life for me. I can return the favor, you know, in the long run. College seems like Vermont is going to get a lot of excitement, um, a lot of athleticism, and, you know, a, a really poised player um, in, in myself. And, um, you know, nothing but great things uh, that they're going to get and receive. Um, and hopefully we can get to that NCAA tournament and, and get a ring. College basketball is going to be a long season. It's going to be hard as a freshman. Um, so, you know, I expect to struggle a little bit, but, you know, the struggle is what makes you great, so.